This video is about manually leaf casting paper on a vacuum table. It shows the preparation involved and how the process is carried out. Paper leaf casting is a way of infilling losses. You can find out more about loss infilling in this video. During leaf casting, losses are filled in using leaf casting material made from pulp fiber this material is available in various colors, which can be blended with one another to create color gradations. The quantity calculation for fibers needed is usually used for machine leaf casting, but can also be used as a guide for manual leaf casting. First, the thickness of the paper is measured using a thickness gauge Measurements are taken in multiple places and the average is calculated. In this case, the average is 0.12 mm. For a sheet of paper that is 0.12 mm thick, you will need approximately 0.008 grams of fibers per square centimeter. This overview offers a rough guide for other types of paper. The water quantity is approximately 40 milliliters per square centimeter. A grid with boxes measuring one times one centimeters is placed on the losses to calculate their surface area. Then all of the boxes contained within the area of the loss are counted, even if there are still patches of paper within the boxes. In this example, there are 29 boxes, meaning a surface area of 29 square centimeters. The surface area is multiplied by the quantity of fibers required for the thickness of the paper. This means that the leaf casting area of 29 square centimeters is multiplied by 0.008 grams per square centimeter, resulting in a required fiber quantity of around 0.23 grams. To calculate the amount of water needed, the leaf casting surface is multiplied by 40 milliliters per square centimeter. The amount of water needed for this quantity of fiber is approximately 1200 milliliters. You will need the following materials for the suspension. A container for the suspension, demineralized water, paper fibers made from pine sulfate pulp, a cellulose ether, example methyl cellulose or methyl hydroxyethyl cellulose, equipment for mixing the fiber pulp, an infilling bottle, a scales and a magnetic stirrer. The water and the fibers are weighed out as calculated. The cellulose ether ensures that the fibers do not sink within the suspension. In this example, 0.3 grams of fibers are weighed out. The fibers are added to the water along with the cellulose ether and left to soak for at least two hours on the magnetic stirrer. While the fiber suspension soaks on the magnetic stirrer, the object can be dry cleaned and washed once. This video will show you how to perform a aqueous treatment. After soaking, a mixer is used to create a homogeneous mixture. The blades of the mixer should be blunt so that they do not shred the fibers but rather mix them. The fiber suspension is then poured into an infilling bottle. The vacuum table is covered with film up to the area to be used for leaf casting. The object is then positioned along with a piece of polyester fleece and the edges covered with film. The vacuum table is switched on 
and the fiber suspension is applied on the open areas. Due to the negative pressure, the fibers only accumulate on the exposed areas. Large clumps of fiber can be removed using tweezers. A polyester fleece can be placed on top and rubbed with the bone folder to press the fibers into place. Once most of the moisture has been aspirated, the object is removed from the vacuum table along with the polyester fleece. For the remainder of the drying process, the object is weighted down and placed between sheets of blotting paper. This is how the object looks with the leaf cast supplement. If the object cannot be washed or processed on a vacuum table, it can be infilled appropriately using a template made from supplementary paper. The loss is traced on a transparent foil placed on the object and then cut out. The template is placed on the vacuum table and filled with infilling material. The finished dry supplement is then glued into the loss. The loss has now been closed again. Manual leaf casting is a way of infilling losses. A fiber suspension is used to reconstruct missing sections in the paper. The quantity of fiber required can be calculated in advance. For sensitive objects, losses can be infilled using custom fitted supplements created with a template.